Hi everybody, it's Robbie from Southern California and today I wanted to come on and just talk about one little thing. Peppers. Oh, we ate half the other day. I put it on some pizza. I've had a lot of people telling me how they're collecting seeds from the grocery store and, you know, food that they bought from there. And Some of it you've got to be kind of careful with. When I say careful, it may not grow the way you think. Cantaloupe, a lot of the cantaloupe in the stores are hybrid, so if you try to grow those seeds, you may not end up with what you were eating, you know, what you had ate. Um, the other thing they've been trying to grow are peppers. And I've had a lot of people tell me that they bought a nice green pepper, it was beautiful, and the, and the seeds are no good and they won't grow. Well, a pepper really is not ripe when it's green. And the issue with the peppers are, are they may look good, the seeds, but the seeds are not mature enough. And when they're not mature enough and you collect the seeds, they're not going to grow. That's the problem because it hadn't gone to its full maturity so where they could be planted and produce another plant. This green pepper that we ate the other day was not right. So those seeds inside will not grow. You might once in a while end up with some that just got, you know, mature enough to produce a plant, but in general, they're no good. The production would be down to probably 1%, if that, on the seeds. But I have collected seeds from green peppers, be it this one, which is a, a sweet red Italian pepper, or a bell pepper that are still green, and I have produced plants from these. And I'll tell you the little trick. What you're going to do, and I'll show you in the video I did on the one that was whole, is what you do is you're going to cap it very gently. And you're going to cut with a small knife, you know, very gently all the way around. Try not to cut into the main membrane. And when you cut it around very slowly, you can start to pull on the stem of the pepper. And when you pull on the stem, you will end up with the cap with all the pepper seeds on it, you know, that were attached to the cap. Now, any of them that are attached to the membrane on the inside here, it won't work. Those won't probably be mature enough to grow. But when you do the cap and you end up with the cap, now you take that cap and you can sit it in a nice sunny window, you know, where it's gonna dry out slowly. And here's a couple I did four days ago. And if you can see now, they've gone red. Same plant, same pepper, but I picked them when they were green. And it has continued to mature and now, and turn and ripen, I should say. Now, all the seeds may not be viable to grow, but a lot of them will be and you can leave enough flesh on it so it will stay damp for a while. And those seeds now are the seeds you can collect and you should be able to get some plants out of those seeds. But if you try to take them out when they're green, you're trying to take something that's not ripe yet, the seeds won't be ready. But that's all you really have to do. You just gently cut around and then just put it, You can, it doesn't have to be a hot window. I wouldn't put it you know, in direct sunlight, but just I just put mine in a little yogurt cup in the window and in a matter of a few days they will ripen leave enough flesh from the fruit on there so it will still have some moisture so it can continuing continue the ripening process and it's really very simple to do just pop it out and those seeds in there should ripen left just like this on the window so it's going to shrivel up look how small they can get they will dry up but those seeds that are left on there should ripen these most likely will be no good because they're just not quite ripe enough you can try them you have nothing to lose you might end up with a few that did get to maturity but this will ripen this will still give food to the seeds it will still give enough nutrients to the seeds so the seeds will stick on here as they are. They will absorb the nutrients that they need. And then a lot of those seeds should be good enough to grow. And you could save them. You don't have to grow them right away. I've got these and I can grow them anytime I want. I've got some others that I saved. 
And that's how I save the seeds because a lot of times I'm in a hurry and I want a green pepper because I'm making something and I don't have any red ones, but I try to save a few seeds, especially if we like the peppers. And there's some that we should be able to grow and get some more pepper plants out of soon. So I hope I've given you a tip on how to save pepper seeds from an immature bell pepper, red sweet pepper that's still green, but enough to get some seeds off of it for either next spring or for this year too. With that, have a great day and don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye. These are really good, green or red. Mmm. At least it's not hot. Yep, no good. <laughs>